Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, American. <coughs> it's Friday. Thanks for joining us on this Friday, right on the threshold of another weekend. 888-900-3393. Oh. Okay. Uh, we got the news yesterday after the show that uh, O.J. Simpson, we lost him. No, very mm. sad. We lost him. Mm. Yeah, he died mm-hmm. at 76. I guess it was prostate cancer? Yeah. Yikes. I know. Mm. Yeah, he was diagnosed. Didn't even know he had it. Well, he was diagnosed in February, uh, which is what started the, you know, mm. the people, you know, rampant about him being sick. And then he addressed it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, on Super Bowl Sunday. Okay. but And then that's pretty much the last we heard from him until now. Yeah, he so went, he was a lot sicker. Down, downhill fast. Now, uh, they I guess people were saying that he was in hospice care. I missed no, that well, we, announcement. Uh, and he denied it. He denied yeah, that he was in hospice. That was the first post. That was a couple mm-hmm. days before the Super Bowl when he when he had first... The news got out that he was diagnosed Then he showed up in somebody's cancer. backyard, I think, talking about it. Right? Well, on Super Bowl yard. Sunday. That's his yard. He yeah, just okay. posted his stuff on... So it was somebody's uh, backyard. Hey, yeah. So here's the big announcement that covers him. It was someone's yeah. backyard. Yeah. Yes, it was yeah. his. So we have some videos it's that we like can play of OJ Vegas. talking about all of this. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, here's the family's uh, tweet on his uh, official account yesterday. Yeah. On April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson. It's not orange juice, Simpson? Huh. Weird. Succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren during this time of transition. His family asked that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. Mm. The Simpson family. Boy, that that is just facts. I mean, that's yeah. not like his, yeah. his they know children. They're, they're going to get surrounded. They're, well, they're going to get bludgeoned they're, they're if they do anything do. sentimental. Yeah. You know, they're going to get hammered because uh, they did anyway. You know, he's getting hammered. Uh, people talking about him roasting in hell and all of those things. Okay. You m- <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's interesting to find out that uh, cancer was acquitted for OJ's death, uh, but uh, he it, it was found liable for it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. You should be on his side, uh, <laughs> Mr. Malinak. What are you talking about? Because he was Why Mr. I- Vaccine. Why am I, what are you uh, he was about? Mr. Vaxxed, and then all of a sudden he gets cancer. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, what does that mean? I'm on this. It's a side. surprise. I'm not. I'm not saying that it caused. What, hold on. It. What are you inferring? This yeah. sounds very. Uh, wow, didn't that sound conspiratorial? Yeah. What is Holy happening, cow. bro? Okay. Where are you going with that? <laughs> yeah, that is. Okay. What a stretch. Right. I don't understand uh-huh. that connection huh. at all. Wow, was that a leap? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Right. But does anybody uh, not remember where you were uh, during the the Bronco chase? Yeah. Or oh, um, when he first became a suspect? Or I mean, there's the verdict was read. All yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, oh my gosh, and the, the I mean, the world was melting ice cream on their radio shows. There we go. There we go. Uh, all of it. You're listening to me. And you're thinking. I know you're thinking. Oh. You're tired too, aren't you? <laughs> huh? I know, I know. I, I know. Be with you don't need to be Do with ya. Nicole. You need to be with Thank your you. family and with I your kids. I just want to be with Nicole. Listen okay. to this. Listen, Do listen, you? listen. You don't need to be with Nicole. <laughs> uh, listen to this. All right? Yeah, this. That doesn't need to be done now. You need your, your kids and your kids need you. Don't do this to them. You're hurting everybody, man. I mean, they had tag team uh, matches on being helicopters selfish with over your kids, his man. house don't and do watching it. the whole time. When did you see the kids last year? I know, I see you. I see you. Mm. Please, toss the gun. Juice, just toss it. Just Just toss it. Come on. Just toss it, please. (laughs) I wonder if he was ever even serious about any of that. He wasn't going to kill himself. Just toss the gun. (laughs) Who's that that guy, anyway? Did we ever find out? Just toss it, Juice. He's just trying to help. What guy? Oh, him? Yeah. Yeah. He's just trying to help. That was, uh... Juice, come on. Just toss it. That's uh, okay. one of his friends, hey. right? That no, no, I don't no, remember no. his name. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, AC yes. Cowling's is driving. Yeah, yeah, by the way. That's driving, but yeah, that was another, Juice, come another on. one of his friends. Yeah. Okay. Juice. Another one of his hanger-ons. Juice, yeah. you there? Entourage. Hey, pick it up, Juice. Yeah, Weird. I mean, wow. it's just 
Wow. And we had an NBA basketball finals game going on at this yeah. time, if you'll recall. And it had the little corner. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was I mean, so just incredible. surreal, man. Uh, amazing. But but doesn't uh, doesn't he sound... Mm. Play the beginning of this again and listen to uh. how heartfelt he sounds uh, as he's remembering Nicole. You're listening to me and you're thinking. I know you're thinking. Oh. You're tired too, aren't you? No. Huh? I'm so tired. I know, I know. I just want to be with Nicole. Well, you don't need to be, with, be with Nicole. There we go, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Do yeah, yeah, that was heartfelt, you could tell. <clears throat> Super heartfelt. So yeah, and you guys were talking about the uh, cancer diagnosis, and Jeffy, of course, made the weird mm. connection that I wouldn't even mm-hmm. think about, mm-hmm. vaccines being involved. But uh, here he was uh, addressing the rumors, uh, clip one, uh, about the hospice oh, care. Yeah, when, they, when they first, when they first uh, the, it leaked that mm-hmm. he was sick. Yeah. And that let's, he was in hospice this. care. Yeah. Hey, X World. It's yours hospice? truly. Hospice? Huh. Hospice? <laughs> you talking about hospice? <laughs> I love him. No, I, I'm not in any hospital. I don't know who put that out there, but whoever put that out there, I guess it's like the Donald Sink. Can't trust the media. Thank you. Uh, in any event, I'm hosting a ton of friends for, for the Super yeah, Bowl here in Las Vegas. A couple of days before the Super Bowl. All is well. <laughs> you All know? is well. So, hey, guys. Take care. Have a good Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, he was still in kind of a little bit of a denial there all as well. He was in somebody's car. I'm just saying. And uh, so then a couple <laughs> days later, that was, you know, he's in somebody's yard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, he, right. and he addresses it. Yeah, he is somebody. And he was in that yard. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have a problem wow. that I mentioned he was in somebody's wow. yard. <laughs> <laughs> the, the story I read yesterday said... He was in somebody's yard. That's because like they, they didn't know. I guess right. it, was, it was his they backyard. They don't follow him on X. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you do? Absolutely. <laughs> do you really? Oh, oh yeah. One hundred percent. He's always got oh, OJ wow. tweets. Hey, over. X World, yours truly. <laughs> Absolutely. And he would finish every stupid video with, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Ugh. That's a, my man right there. Oh, That's Jay. your man. <laughs> OJ is dead. I'm just saying. We lost him. Yeah. 76 years yeah, old. Very sad. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm torn because I was a huge O.J. Simpson Me fan growing too. up and during it's my juice, man. early adult life. Yeah, he was, he was, he transcended race. Yes, you know, he they did. tried to make it out like he was being discriminated against or whatever, that he was a black man. Nobody thought of him that way. And that's what he believed in the beginning of all of this. And then they turned that to be race. He didn't want to do that in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, he was like, no. But that's no. how they got him off. Yeah. Well, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, uh, good thing that his lawyers knew better than he did. <laughs> yes. Uh, and the glove thing was genius. Right. You yes. know, pretend like you can't get it on. Plus, it probably shrunk. <laughs> you know, know, it was wet and oh, it had been sitting go. around. I'll we're bet it did shrink. this all over again. <laughs> yeah, here we're we going to go. relitigate the trial. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Radio shows all across America, which I was a part of. Yes. Uh, yeah. I remember the ice cream thing. <laughs> ice cream, gloves, yeah. all of it, man. Phone yep. calls, time limits between going to the car and getting the driver mm-hmm. and going to Chicago, all, all mm-hmm. of it. I mean, it all, right. we did it all. Did yeah, because it, it was so huge. Yeah. I mean, that's all we talked about for months. I mean, we have months a, and months. They still have a picture of, and uh, <clears throat> what's his face, the judge. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he was uh, every day during the trial was holding up. Uh, different radio station and TV stations coffee mugs during the trial. So That's right. every station had a picture of the judge with their coffee mug. He was he was so into it. <laughs> what was his first Absolutely. name? Start. I can't remember Wait, the judge. Judge Ito? Is yeah. Judge Ito, Ito, yeah. Lance. Uh-huh. Right? Judge Lance, Lance Ito. It might have been Lance Ito. I think Ito. it was Lance Ito. Yeah, and he loved it. Absolutely. The attention. Yeah. I mean, I still Oh, read, my gosh. I worked for it. Uh, uh, the Mothership, 970 WFLA mm-hmm. at the time. But it, when it first started, I worked for another radio station. But uh, both those stations had their cups. We've got, to send, we've got to send it. Send it. Get it out. Get it out. Get the cup there. Then did he hold one up? Absolutely. Oh. 100%. <laughs> they have the picture hanging up in the back room at, at the, at, at the station good yeah huh? all right well that mark Furman, man too bad he was such a racist i know uh otherwise the guy might have been convicted there yeah seemed to be a yeah, little yeah. bit of evidence against him <laughs> so circumstantial and i guess you had to buy into the fact that Furman planted the evidence right it, it, that had to be the whole premise or they just ignored everything and just <clears throat> I, voted for sure acquittal because it, yeah, it's oj yeah and it's OJ. it was it was uh you know, he was a black man being falsely mm-hmm. accused in America. And uh, yeah. 
that can't happen. Yeah. So, O.J. Simpson, dead. Dead. 76. The age of 76. Yeah. As Glenn pointed out multiple times, still, he's still dead. Uh, who's a coffin? <laughs> Does the coffin fit? Okay. <laughs> I, who did the coffin all thing? All right. Just, yeah, I, just, I, I, I saw the jokes yesterday. Media. That's all. Yeah. 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 If the coffin doesn't fit, you must <laughs> You must not bury him. That doesn't yeah, really like that. No, rhyme. I forget what the joke Not was. quite as catchy as the if the so glove the way, doesn't fit, they, you must acquit. I saw the post. It might have been Babylon B. I'm not sure, but I did see the post of the uh, L.A. honors O.J. by the uh, slow white hearse down the highway. It was <laughs> just, oh, man. It's funny. Uh, they still haven't taken him out of the Hall of Fame, right? He's still in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Oh, he deserves to be. But they, they did take the Heisman, the Heisman away, Trophy right? away, yeah. Yeah, they did take the Heisman away because that was the joke, right? From Norm Macdonald a lot of years ago when he was <laughs> he was at the sports event and he said, "Oh, congratulations on winning the Heisman! They can't take that away from you." Well, unless you kill your wife and her waiter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that everyone yes, thought it, it was funny at the time, but that's eh, funny. They probably did. And right now, I mean, you know, too soon. No, not for OJ. Doesn't seem to be, does it? No. Everybody is. Uh, no, OJ's been OJ's been in our faces uh, on on social yeah. media since he got out of jail uh, for the Vegas thing. Which, yeah, you know another hmm? another problem, another issue that he spent way too long in well, jail. Well, he over. really did nine years in jail because Four. of the murder. Yes, he did. Because you know showing yes, up and did. trying to get his memorabilia back right. that doesn't warrant nine years right. in prison. Oh, there was a gun that was somebody was yeah, holding. I know. Okay, yeah, shut up. I know. Nobody even fired any. I any wet, any but, rounds, right? But the point is, ever since he got out at that time, and we just, mm-hmm. and which we followed again with mm-hmm. him going before the magistrate and the judges to get out of, and the parole board to get out of jail. Yeah, uh, you know, he's been in our faces with social media. So heck yeah, it's not too early. No yeah. way. Yeah. So he's still dead. Still dead at seventy six. Seventy six. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that has not changed in the last few. Months. I will say it. If we'll the, let if, you know if it does, though. If and when it does, we oh, yeah. will, we will update the information. Can I will use s- a breaking news right? sounder for yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, cool. I, I yeah. will say this. If no one else on this show will, uh, rest in peace. Okay, you just said it. Congratulations. You covered it. You did. Good job. Covered it for all of us. Okay, way to go. <laughs> it was also a dark day yesterday for BYU basketball. We lost our coach. Oh, no. To Kentucky. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's going to be the head coach. John Calipari just left yeah, and went to, Arkansas went to Arkansas for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so our guy, who uh, who is a great coach, and everybody loves him. Um, and I figured it would happen because Kentucky's his alma mater. He was mm. there for the 96 championship, uh, mm. national championship team. Uh, and so I figured eventually that would happen. Plus, he couldn't get it done at BYU. So, and he's done a pretty, he's done a good job though. He's won ten and fifty two at BYU. He did a good job at Utah Valley before that, but in two trips to the NCAA tournament, okay, he was he was coach head coach for five years. Two trips to the tournament, zero wins yeah. there. I didn't think Kentucky would hire him with that resume, but. Now, well, I think so many people alum, backed out yeah, of the job that, and the alum and really the alum. Helped, yeah, yeah. So transfer portal is sucking people out of the oh, program even as we speak. I mean, there's that. I hate that's, it. That's an issue with so many ah, teams. I know. Ah. Uh, also, little sports uh, blur, little sports news. The Masters Golf Tournament, if you can call it a sport. Of what? Of what? And oh uh, my goodness, <laughs> sir! Started in Augusta, sir. Yesterday, Augusta, Georgia. What is your problem? The Masters. Yeah. Is this different Masters music? Did they no. change it? No, this, no, this, this is, is the, the iconic. Uh, okay, this is the iconic. All right, good. Yeah. Uh, former Masters champion and citizen of South Africa, Gary Player. Oh, yeah. Had this to say about the United States yesterday. Good stuff. Watch this. Here we go. And I never forget to mention this. To come to this great country, the United States of America, if you hear, you are so blessed, and you should kiss the ground every day. Yes. And yeah. just appreciate what this country's done for the world. Mm. Not only for yourself, but it's about time America started doing more for their own. I love that. Mm. From an Amen. immigrant. Don't you love that? Mm. Amen. That's so great to hear. Somebody who's grateful, who's appreciative, who understands. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. And you catch what he said there at the end. He's like, uh, it's about time they did more for their own. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, think, you think so? so? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so there's a foreigner mm-hmm. 
Here's what a sitting U.S. Congresswoman, Rashida Tlaib, said when she was asked about the chance of death to America in her home district in Minnesota. Congresswoman Tlaib. Fox News. I don't talk to Fox News. At a rally in your district, people were chanting death to America. Do you condemn? Not talk to Fox News. But do you condemn chants of death to America? I don't talk to people that use racist tropes. Oh, <laughs> shut up. That's Why you. can't you just say whether or not you condemn people chanting death to America? Why are you afraid to talk to Fox? Fox News uh. is not, not listen, using racist tropes towards my community is what Fox What's the racist yeah, trope yeah. Fox yeah. is using? That's all death she knows. to America oh racist? Gosh. Fox News. Is chanting death to America racist? I'm talking about your guys' racist tropes. You know, she you guys, are, you guys know exactly what you do. Despicable. I don't know but wow. you guys got to go deal with it on your own self. Not Jeez. to use me. And it means you're gonna cry. Wow. I'm, I'm looking up what oh she's my referring gosh. to. I, I I just can't. What racist trope? What I'm trying to find out right now. Incredible. She and she can't she can't even condemn death to America. No. Right. There's nothing she can condemn or ever will condemn about uh her precious, you know, foreigners who live here now. She she doesn't care. They can do anything, and it's not wrong to her. I wonder if her anything. Her mom was living in uh in Palestine too, right? Her mom was living. Was I don't know. I think her mom was there. Her Probably. grandmother, one of her relatives, was still there. Probably. Yeah. If you can't so much as condemn, you know, you can't just take a minute out and say, "Yes, I, I don't condemn." It's a small group of people, but of course, I condemn that. Right. You can't do that. No. No, you got to turn it around and make it about Fox. That's asinine. My, my favorite part of when you corner someone <sighs> in the halls of Congress is when the elevator doesn't show up and they're forced oh, to Oh, I know. They up. have yeah. to stand there and wait. Yeah. That's awesome. That is that awesome. That is so much fun. It's that like, is. I, if I knew they that was so happening, pissed. I'm upstairs holding, holding the, the door elevator. Either. They're yes. so go. pissed that that yes. elevator <laughs> will not open, man. They cannot stand <laughs> it. That's, that is good. That is fun. <laughs> that would be good if it was just like, <sighs> oh, man. you're pushing the button. <laughs> That'd be great. And you're just stuck there <laughs> <laughs> with the microphone in yep. your yeah. face, yelling, yeah, exactly. oh, racist tropes, racist tropes, ah, racist tropes, <laughs> racist trope, a trope that's racist. <laughs> Back to another person who wasn't born in America, this Chinese immigrant who uh, talked to David Hogg <laughs> in New Hampshire yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is uh, Lily Tang Williams. Welcome to... My live free or die state. New Hampshire, all right. Actually, I am a, a Chinese immigrant who survived communism. And uh, under Mao, you know, 40 million people were starving to death after ah. he sold the communism to them. And 20 million people died, mm -hmm. murdered during his Cultural Revolution. So my question to you, hmm. David, is that can you guarantee me a gun owner tonight? Our government in the U.S., in D.C., will never, never become a tyrannical government. Right. Can you guarantee that to me? There's no way I can ever guarantee that any government will not be tyrannical. Well, then the debate mm -hmm. on gun control is over because <laughs> I will never give up my guns. Never, Good never. You. And you should go to China to see how gun control works for dictatorship of CCP. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Put that in your Thank pipe. you. Nice. David. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That is great. Yes, it is. It's so true. Yes, it is. And it just, I mean, the, the whole thread there, look at that. I mean, you've got people that were born in other countries that, yeah, that respect appreciate it. America and yeah. appreciate our yeah. principles more than the people that represent us in Congress. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't, yes, sir. don't forget we had the, the dance team that was supposed <laughs> to perform in Seattle that had their uh, shirts were the American flag. And uh, they were told that those were offensive. What? So, what? Uh, uh, oh, I don't know that story. Audience yeah. members feel triggered and unsafe. Where is this? So the team because of the of the U.S. flag uh, for their shirts. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Where then is? you need to get out. Yeah. Well, they did get out. They left. They didn't perform. <laughs> no, the, oh, yeah, I know what you the mean. The people who were offended. I know what you mean. So yeah. they did. They did leave. They. They. Yeah. They. They, they did not perform. They gave. No, they did not. They gave. Good for them. They gave them uh, choices. Nice. And one of the choices was or not perform, and they were like, "We're not performing then." Have a nice day. Wow. You knew that this was our uniform. You knew that from the Jeez. our preliminary videos. Uh, no, we're not. And who's out in the audience complaining? They went to management of the. <laughs> 
of the venue yep. and said, hey, we're really offended by those. Uh, now, there was a small group that felt American triggered flag. and unsafe. So they had uh, several claims. I'm sorry. Then <laughs> you should not leave your home. Okay? If the American and flag you on should somebody's get out. shirt. Yeah. If that makes you feel unsafe, you need to stay home. You leave. Period. That is... Oh my God. So, do they also boycott going to the post office? Uh, wow. Uh, or yeah. picking their kid up at school? Driving around any community <laughs> any in this community. country? Well, I don't Jeez. know how many American flags are flying in Seattle, but. Yeah. Fair, fair point. There's got to be a few. Right? There has to be. Post office, for instance, as Keith pointed out. Yeah. You would think. Uh, FBI building, CIA building, state. <laughs> Man, I don't know FBI. I wonder if they. Even I know. Yeah. After anymore. I said that, I thought maybe yeah. not. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> so we're now less than seven months away from the 2024 presidential election. Uh, look at some of these economic numbers from oh. uh, Joe Biden's reign of terror in this Boy, uh, election year. Um, we've updated these from time to time, and uh, led by gasoline and. Forty-seven point eight percent higher than it otherwise would have been. Yes. Other, so higher so than it was off. when he took office. This is what these numbers are. Yes. Uh, groceries up twenty-one point one percent. Eating out twenty-one point four. Baby food thirty and a half percent. Yeah, and they we're still having issues with that uh, supply chain issues with that, right? Are they? I think so. I don't know. I haven't heard an update on so. that in a while. I just know it's still behind glass. Jeez. Mm, yeah. Lock and key. Pet food up twenty-three point seven. Almost 21% for rent. Electricity up 28.3%. That is not I actually, right at all. I actually feel like it's more than that. Oh, it is much it is more than uh, that. I've looked oh. at, I've, I, my wife is, she brings in the bills. She does doing her duties. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I was like, holy cow, no, somebody it's... needs to shut the lights off and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> stop it's, this It's now. about mm-hmm. 70% higher, I believe. Yeah. It probably depends on where you are. But well, but uh, okay, yeah. Right. Let's Still, see the, let's see the twenty six point nine percent for natural gas, twenty one percent for used cars. Mm-hmm. Airfare up thirty two point seven percent. Oh, but, in, but now it wow. comes with the extra uh, bonus feature of uh, will your plane fall out of the sky? Yeah, there's that. There's not planes falling out of the sky. Okay, pieces of planes okay, falling. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be followed by the <laughs> fuselage. Yeah. Next time, let's let the one liner <laughs> go. Okay, that's it though. <laughs> Not the plane. Public transportation, 22.2%. And real average weekly earnings have oh. just kept pace. Oh, wait. So- Almost, but not quite. They're down 3.9%. Something went down under Joe. Uh, yeah. Cool. I, yeah. I, I, it's the money you make. Wow. Oh, good. It seems like Gosh. that's not working as really low well. as it actually is either. Mm-hmm. I mean, I the, the lies that come out of this administration's faces every day to make this okay. Now, if that made you incredible angry, yeah. that chart. Oh mm-hmm. my goodness! Wait till you see this one. So this is this one, the yeah. inflation at the same point at the same point in the presidencies. Yeah, between Trump mm-hmm. and Biden. Okay, mm-hmm. so the energy inflation. And show this graph. Uh, look at that. Under Trump, zero. Okay. Under Biden, thirty-eight point eight percent. Oh, uh, higher. Okay. Gas. Down under his administration, two percent. Down more than that. Forty-seven point eight percent up uh, under Biden. Hmm. Electricity, three percent. Twenty-nine point three under Biden. Yeah, this is incredible. Yeah. Wow. And so on and so yeah, forth. I mean, like, up and down most the list. Categories are almost flat or down under Trump at the same point in the presidency. Yeah. I like the airfare number. Uh-huh. It was down thirteen point eight percent in his administration. It's up thirty-two point seven percent. That you might recognize that as a uh, almost a, like a 46% yeah. increase Good. since Trump yeah. in airfare. Oh, man. Wow. Transportation costs were down. Mm-hmm. Used cars were only up 2.4% under him, 21% under Biden. I That wow. hurts. I mean, that hurts. If, if it were the economy stupid as it used to be under Clinton, supposedly, Don't. and it should have been under everybody, everybody thought, uh, if that's the case, there's no way... That you could cheat to win this election because mm. Trump would win by such a landslide. Yeah, well, we'll see. We've got some uh, we'll good see. video clips of undecided voters uh, that that might give you some yeah, hope. Yeah, and some undecided voters that were featured by MSNBC. They had a panel of them sat down and talked to them about what's going on. <laughs> Here's a look at some of that. I think he's been absolutely disastrous for the economy. Biden. <laughs> mm-hmm. I agree. It's right here. If you think President Trump's policies. 
on the economy would be better for your family personally. Uh, yeah. Raise, oh, your, raise your hand. All right. So everybody. That is no, only everybody. One. Yeah, everybody. President Biden. So uh, hold, pause that. Pause that. Pause that. Pause that. If you're listening, you have eight undecided voters, and they all raised their hand that Trump was better for their family than Biden. And and what's his what's his stupid name? On yeah, Mark. Halperin. Halperin. Yeah. Halperin. Yeah, that's I couldn't try to remember his name. Yeah, I mean he is definitely uh, not a fan of Trump. There's no way mm-hmm. that he's working well. He's working he wasn't at expecting MSNBC. this because right. this just goes on and on. We right. got two clips of this stuff. Okay. To everybody, President Biden uh, argues that his economic record has been very good. He said President Trump's was not as good. <laughs> um, what what what, what, awesome what are you keying off of, uh, Sean? Since you had the best smile I mean, in Virginia, the second I, best smile. What are you keying off of to say President Trump's economic policies would be better for I you? I mean, the, my past performance of my of my 401k. I know it was yep. post 2020 and mm-hmm. everything kind of flipped around, but you can't you can't blame everything on 2020 for forever. We have oh. areas here in Pennsylvania where it's just at a standstill right now. Like things are supposed to be being built, and the interest rates are just way too high for people to mm-hmm. to to yep. you know invest and and start moving moving around and, and virginia just staying with you because because pennsylvania is near and dear to joe biden's heart <laughs> are, are there biden policies that you would blame for the problem and if so what are no. they the interest rate is so high right now and i know they're trying to um cut the inflation down but like if nobody is building no no businesses are really coming to pennsylvania right I now can't. to keep us moving forward even if you're trying to um, buy a house because i'm trying to become a first-time home buyer the prices are so high right now it's just hard. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. huh. And there was more. They had Is more there anything say. Joe Biden could do or say between now and, and, and the time <laughs> you leave vote that? that would make you feel differently <laughs> about feeling that his policies would not be as good for your family on the economy? Or have you, have you pretty much decided that Trump's policies would be better for the and, economy? I mean, I feel like he doesn't even take accountability for what's at all with what's going on. Right. In the not even accountability. It. Like, he's in denial that it's happening. Home the point is, Biden needs to hear the people because wow. when he's talking about the economy doing stellar, he's talking about the stock market. He's not looking at homelessness or joblessness. He's not at that age's point and thinking about how much it costs to go to the grocery store. And he's gaslighting literally everyone in Ooh. the process. Mm-hmm. And, and Omar, you voted for Joe Biden last time, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't let anybody know that much. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, sounds like they learned their lesson, though. I, That's incredible. And they noticed the fact that he's accepted accountability for nothing. For not one he thing. He accepts no responsibility for any of his policies. Everything is somebody else's fault. Well, he's busy, Everything. He's busy unifying the country. Oh, right. Oh, he has a full-time job right yeah. now. Yeah. He's really worked hard on that. Yeah. He really has. Uh, here's a black voter who apparently isn't undecided. <laughs> It's funny when you come out and you're a conservative and you're talking about voting Republican as a black man, they want to call you a sellout or a bootlicker or something. <laughs> Maybe I would be considered a sellout if the Democrat Party was a black party for black people. Mm-hmm. But it's not. Thank you. If anything, the ideologies usually line up with white liberals mm-hmm. and LGBTQ and illegal immigrants, not blacks. So start acting as if voting Democrat makes you pro-black. You're starting to sound a little bit like Joe Biden over here. <laughs> you ain't black unless you vote Democrat. Sure, being pro-black don't mean uh. transitioning children. I'm sure right. being pro-black don't mean sharing all your resources with illegal immigrants. <laughs> I'm sure being pro-black don't mean putting <laughs> sexual things in children's Put books. In. Thank you. So I need y'all to simmer down with all this babble talk and do your research. <laughs> Instead of getting on the internet calling names and stuff. Because y'all looking embarrassing. <laughs> hey, I just want a better nation for everybody, including liberals. Mm. So huh. that makes me a sellout and so be it. Good for him. Uh, amen. Y'all look at embarrassing, and yeah. he's right. That's great. That's really great. Uh, and, of course, it continues because inflation was worse than expected last month, uh, which is bad news at the Fed. I, are they ever going to lower interest rates? I don't, rates? Think, they, Probably I don't not. think they can. No, in fact, they're not they going just, to. They just ticked up, uh, actually. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I, heard I don't something think they can. Morning. So everything, I mean, and, uh, I mean, the inflation is, I mean, crippling the economy. It's crippling. Yeah. Was yes. uh, for for yeah. everyone across the board. Yeah, yeah. As mm-hmm. Glenn points out, it's kind of like a an invisible tax. Yes, the forty twenty one point one percent tax on your food, forty percent tax on your gas. I mean, it, the list goes on and on and on and on. It is like you're paying an extra tax, yeah. and you would certainly be pissed off at the person who assessed yes, that tax. You would. <laughs> 
888-933-93. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Pat Gray Unleashed. President Trump in... Yeah, inflation up again. What was it, 3.5% last month? Yes, sir. So the interest rates will not come down. This, as we're right in the middle of fixing up the house Uh to sell it, we must have the interest rates go down. Yeah, They must go down. Either that or you're going to enjoy living in your remodeled house. A little bit longer. Uh, A lot Uh, longer. uh, It's not going to sell. Jeez. Ah! So yeah, we've already we did the demo. It's been demo week. Uh, so they tore up all the countertops. The um, demo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they destroyed everything. Hmm. And uh, we talked to my wife yesterday or the day before. I'm like, this is a nightmare. Right. She's like, no, it's not a nightmare. If we had our house destroyed completely. That would be a yeah. Nightmare. Okay, thanks. Go finish dinner. Yeah, All right, I know. Thanks. Right? Don't try to provide me with perspective. Oh, I don't want, right, all right, thank on you. how bad this problem. I'm really telling is. you, it's a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> She's like, this is a, a minor inconvenience <laughs> and barely that. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, if you're gonna put it in the scope of yeah, world okay, yeah. problems, wait a minute. Yes. Wait, hold, time out. Time but out. it's bothering me and my television watching. Thank you. Hold, 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 hold on a second. Hold on. Did you say that um, they're? It sounds like they're doing some big work in the kitchen. Yes. So therefore, she can't get in there. Oh, it's giving yes. her a little bit more time to right. So she's good with the inconvenience. Yeah, she loves it. Oh, that's kind of a good point. Right, that's a really good point, Keith. And that's what I should have brought down on her head yesterday. Hey, well, you got all hey, weekend, bro. That's time. only because your job is hampered right now. Right. Uh, here's uh, uh, that would have gone really well when that happens. Really, really. Uh, when well. that happens, as you're telling her when your your job is hampered right now, walk out to the patio. Uh, open the screen door and say, uh, "Cook here." Yeah, right. Yeah. There's a grill. See this grill? right there. Yeah, fire it up. That's your new fire area. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's nice. Go enjoy it. Yeah, you've you've Get met some my son. You've met my wife, right? I'll stop yeah. by. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd like you to stop by and say that. To I'll her. straighten that uh, out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so I think that'd go really well for you. I really do. <laughs> really do. <laughs> so you're saying it's uh, excellent. Your TV watching is affected. It is affected. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, because the I don't like you that. know the kitchen kind of slides into the family room. Yes, where a big TV is, and it's pissing me off. Okay, but, but hold on. Then you've got yeah. you got a, another TV have an upstairs, upstairs, upstairs thing that yeah. you could go and watch the Masters on this weekend. <laughs> that's what you'll be doing. Obviously. But then, and that's what I'll be doing. But then I would be inconvenienced, and we can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to have to. I have to go upstairs. Right. What are we talking right. about? It's a long walk. Yeah. It's a long walk. Plus, if she's outside cooking, she can't. Well, I'm going to get some walkie talkies because I need her to know when I need some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously want you to come over today and have this conversation with her. I think she'd really enjoy it. Make so sure you're you. recording on so this you. when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you got nine one one on speed dial. <laughs> oh, I always do that. You're gonna need it. I got a hot key for that one. <laughs> okay, got some uh, tweets here. Nancy's vodka soaked dentures. The gloves might actually fit this time, Pat. <laughs> on OJ. Oh. oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Out of sight. Okay. Uh, with OJ passing, do you think we'll get a thirtieth anniversary white Ford Bronco option? Oh, wow. Oh, that'd be nice. Maybe those were those Maybe. were darn good vehicles. By the way, the Ford Broncos are much cooler today than they were in 1994. Oh, those, don't you think that Bronco is pretty cool? I like They're those cool. old Broncos, man. Do you? Yeah, they do some. They do some distance. I'm surprised you had a Bronco. Mm. You know, that, w- that wouldn't be the vehicle I would uh, guess O.J. Simpson owned before that particular well, he incident. Did, I mean. But. When he had to go somewhere <clears throat> legitimately, he would take mm-hmm. the limo. Yes, that's that is true. Uh, nuclear barf <laughs> tweets. How many times will OJ be voting in November? Oh, that's yeah, probably oh, multiple, good multiple question. times. Sons of Thunder forty three. One could say the juice expired. Oh, <laughs> good stuff. Too soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, not of this world. Why does it always take an immigrant? To tell us how we should be proud. I know. Every time. Because we take it for granted. You know, we're used to it. Uh, We become more demanding because of it, because of the lifestyle we've grown accustomed to. And so when people come here from places that are socialist and communist, they understand Mm -hmm. what they've got here. 
They understand what freedom means. We don't. Uh, Lone Wolf 2965, please use the proper phraseology. It's Biden's economic bloodbath. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And, sure. and I, I want to point out here, uh, Citizens Free Press, uh, they posted some numbers yesterday, and I forgot to send this in, but you got to see this here. 2024 presidential campaign infrastructure comparison. This is where, this is the ground game where it's won and lost at election time. Announced field offices. Joe Biden has 14 in Georgia, 14 in Pennsylvania, 20 in Michigan, 44 in Wisconsin, North Carolina 10, Arizona 8, Nevada, they don't know, two or more, whatever. Donald Trump has none in these important battleground oh, wow. states. This is according to this post on, on uh, Citizen Free Press. Wow. And then down here it says they have 450 uh, plus That's staffers in nine no, states, nine out of nine swing state directors on the Biden side. Over here, you've got uh, five per state in nine states and two out of nine swing state directors. Oh, campaign I mean, fundraising. He's busy in court. The, the, yeah. Exactly. Now listen to this. Campaign fundraising for Joe Biden. And uh, let's see. Uh, in March, he, he raised $90 million. Cash on hand is 192 Total 187 Trump, instead of 90 he's got $65 million raised in March, although he had that big fundraiser yes. the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, total was cash that counted in, in this? No, this is that, okay. that would be April. This is March, yeah. All right. So total ca- uh, total is $99 million. You know, basically half of what Joe had. <sighs> That's problematic. Right. That's definitely a problem. But that big fundraiser, they fix like you that. said, is helpful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah $50 million. Right? You but raised the 50 organization. Million. Yeah, We've talked time. about yeah. how I hope you have a good ground game yeah. for 24 after what doesn't. happened in 2020. If these numbers are accurate, that's it's terrifying. Scary. Yeah, that's scary. Uh, Happy Friday. Congratulations, America. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, also this morning, uh, uh, the White House has just announced Pat. Yeah. Got duct tape. Mm. Hang I. On. I don't think I do. There you go, right here. Mm. There you go. Oh, okay. Duct tape for you. Okay. Oh, nice. uh, White House has just announced seventy-five billion dollars in new student debt cancellation. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Again <laughs> to give breathing wow. uh, a breathing wow. room. A breathing room uh, takes dig at House GOP. Here's the quote from the story. I just printed up. Quote: I will never stop working to cancel student debt, no matter how many times Republican elected officials try to stop us. A no, new- it's not the Republican elected <laughs> officials. Yeah. It's the U.S. Supreme Court. Right, right. New seventy-five billion. Wow. Announced this morning God. from the White House. Student. Talk about a dictator. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's your guy. Warning, warning about Trump. You're already doing it. That's your man. Wow. Also, trans madness <laughs> is going on worldwide, but some people refuse to be a part of that absurdity. Uh, here's a British news anchor doing an interview with a trans activist, and uh, here's how that went down. Good afternoon, Julia. Thanks. You know my pronouns are they, them. How are you doing? Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you for telling me your pronouns. I use correct grammar, so mm. the only the only thing I would need mm. to refer you to is for, to your face would be you. But I'm, I'm not being rude. You can choose your pronouns. You can choose what you want to call yourself, but you don't have a, you don't get to require me to use incorrect grammar <laughs> and factually incorrect things. You're not a plural. Great. You're a, you're a, you're a one person, <laughs> and you're a, you're a female person. So I will use she and her. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do what you like, I guess. Well, there you are. You didn't need to tell me that. Yeah, Shivani handle, handles it well. Maybe I'm just yeah. making sure people know in case they're watching and they want to refer to me respectfully. Is it disrespectful for me to use correct factual grammar? <laughs> well, it's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns for an individual. But we're here to talk about the cast review. Yeah, but yeah. but wow. you but you chose wow. but you chose to bring it up. Mm-hmm. You chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me. I I'll chose to use no. the correct pronouns for yeah, a single yes. woman who is appearing on my show. Right. I'm not a single woman, though. I'm a very special non-binary trans person, as you just uh, pointed out. I, I didn't really just point that, that out. In the crowd. I didn't okay. just point We're that out. I introduced you as a journalist and a virgin radio presenter. <laughs> no, just before, before I came she... on, you were talking about how people with all these labels like mm. to be special. Oh, and I'm just no. making sure that everyone knows I'm special. <laughs> okay, I'm not Thank special. You. I'm just wow. a boring old heterosexual married woman. But, you know, sorry about that. We're not allowed to do that anymore. In fact, that probably does make me Jeez. special now. I don't know. Good for her. Whew. Good for her. I mean, they both handled that pretty good. 
Uh, Pretty well. <clears throat> Thank you. Sure. Thank you well. Sure. Well, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the trans person? Not Not really. No, because that's not... She didn't use incorrect uh, uh, language. Uh, they, to, excuse me. They didn't. They didn't. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna do the they thing either. It is so confusing. It's when you stupid. start seeing that, it's just stupid. and we are, we're seeing it in articles all over oh, the yeah. place. I know. They, and you're like... Who Wait, are the multiple are we group about? are we talking about I had to waste time here? to rewind my eyes, <laughs> yeah, go all back the time. early in the story, all and go, Wait, the time. Yeah, what? Oh, that, okay. Now it's, you know, then it finally dawns on you. They're using dumb pronouns that yep. don't apply. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because we've got to change our entire language uh, just to suit the trans population. Would you I say guess. it's to suit a mental illness? Well, yes, you could say that. You could say that. Although, uh, I don't think the AMA considers it that anymore, do they? But for the last few years. I wonder who's lining their pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. Meanwhile, there's a Colorado state representative who we've played clips of before. He's a man who demands that <laughs> others call him a woman. Okay. And uh, here's what he, they, <laughs> them said yesterday. She. she whatever. <laughs> I look like someone who has a mental disorder? Yes. I mean, some people would say that in the affirmative, but that was a rhetorical question. No. <laughs> no. no, you do look like you have a mental He'd disorder. He'd do it as soon yeah. as it left his mouth. Yeah, exactly. This will be a clip oh. on a show <laughs> uh, based on a Dallas one day. Yeah. yeah, roll that bias one more it was, time. It wasn't even a bit. It's That's yeah. great. <laughs> I look like someone who has a mental disorder. Yes, yes. I mean, some people sure do. Yeah, yeah. Realized it. Whoever, probably a stupid question, and I just answered it myself. Because yes. whoever, yes, they, them, mm-hmm. it was looking at probably went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. But you're right. As soon as it left his mouth, he's like, oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got the me. The sheer absurdity <laughs> of it all. That's, I mean, that's the word. <laughs> Everything is absurd now. It is! Hard to believe. All right. You know you're being lied to about a lot of different things. And Wall Street is telling you to put your money into an IRA or a 401k. They say risking your life savings in, Wall Street, in the Wall Street casino is a really secure investment for the future. But studies show the average American who follows that advice will outlive their savings by 10 years. There's something you can do uh, in order to avoid all of that, it's called bank on yourself, and it's a better way to grow and protect your hard-earned money. The retirement plan alternative has never had a losing year. In 160 years, you get guaranteed predictable growth and retirement income. With bank on yourself, uh, your plan doesn't go backward when the market tumbles. Your principal and growth are locked in. Tax-free retirement income you'll know what your tax rate will be in retirement. It'll be zero under the current tax law, which protects you from the coming tax tsunami uh, that built-in inflation is causing. Your money is guaranteed to grow by a larger dollar amount every single year in both good and bad times. If you want guaranteed, predictable annual growth, you want control of your money and tax-free retirement income, go to bankonyourself.com slash unleashed They'll send you a free report, and you can go through it, understand it, see if it's right for you, and you'll you'll really, I think you're going to be impressed with uh, this alternative. Just go to bankonyourself.com slash unleashed and get your free, your free report. Bankonyourself.com slash unleashed. Oh, this is good news, too. Contributing to the fun we're having in this upside-down society. Uh, An illegal alien from Afghanistan who is a member of an Islamic terror group freely roaming the streets of America right now because the Biden administration just released him into the country after he crossed the border illegally. Man, just go. That's it, You're fine. Tired of looking Enjoy at yourself. You. Get out of here. Yeah. We don't want to <laughs> feed you. Just go do what you do. I don't know. You be you. <laughs> you be you. <laughs> NBC News reported that the 48-year-old Mohammed Karwin spent a year roaming the streets of America after border officials released him in 2023. 
He's on the FBI's national terror watch list Not because real. he's a member of Herb Herb or he, oh I'm sorry Hezbi Islami, which I've never heard of. Hezbi Islami, wait, you're gonna have to work Islami? on that. Sounds like a sandwich. I was gonna say that, you need a tougher name than that. I'll take or <laughs> Hig. Well, that's probably why they released him. Yeah. Hezbi Islami. I don't know if you can see ya. I'll take two Bye-bye. Hezbi Islamis and <laughs> a soda. Extra pickle. What are we talking about? <laughs> soda. <laughs> Give me some chips. <laughs> so it's the Party of Islam is what it translates oh, to. Oh, okay. Well, then why don't they just call it the Party of Islam? Virul- virulently uh, anti-Western insurgent group whose goal is to replace the Western-backed Afghan government with an Islamic state mm. rooted in Sharia. Mm. So he's why doing he that here? Yeah, why are you he's doing, doing that, that here? here? That's weird. That is weird. The terror suspect was arrested finally last month, but released again okay. by an immigration judge in the Biden administration's oh Department gosh. of Justice <laughs> who was not told of his terror ties. Why would you tell him that? Why would you? I mean, it's not the judge's fault. He paid his $12,000 bond and was released and is out on bond, and there's no restrictions on his movement inside the United States of America. Where is he getting... I was about to say... Where is he getting twelve grand? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. From his terror group, perhaps? Is that possible? I guess. Maybe I mean, they're selling, funding no, him. No, 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 no. no. not possible. Has Balami sandwiches, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Not possible, Pat, because no? when, when, when you apply the Patriot Act, right, and you mm-hmm. really monitor these terrorist networks and their funding of, of projects such as this guy, mm-hmm. you, can, you can shut that down in a heartbeat. Oh, okay. So that's, that's yeah, right. not a chance it came right. from overseas funding from a terrorist group. <laughs> He has since applied for asylum and work authorization, and he has flown domestically inside the United States of America. Yeah. <laughs> he's on a terror watch list, and he's been allowed to fly. But I will say this. We're following, wow. we're following uh, the people who paraded and milled Thank flying you. on airlines. Thank so. you. So tell me, you don't feel safer now. Right. Tell me. Tell me you're thinking, well. Are we like. If we're, if we're, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What's, what's going understand. on? You seem sad. I just don't understand. Well, I mean, what is if, it you don't understand? Gonna, yeah. We can explain it to you. Okay. All right. So if we're going to <laughs> let them in the country. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. Let, right. Uh-huh. And we for are. For instance, let's, let's bypass the whole, hey, no, we're not letting you in thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're going to let you. Okay. We've go already ahead. done yeah, that. We do that every we, day. We already yeah. bypassed that. Yeah. 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 But man, I'll put a chip in their stomach or put a mm, chip up their rear or something. Up their rear? Yeah. So that if they have, if they feel like taking it out, it right, kill them, oh. but so it's in them. We can track uh, them then. Why yeah, not just track yeah, them? Yeah, I don't understand. Give them a pet collar, something. What? I don't understand. Wow, I like the pet collar idea. That's actually, not, uh, that's something I love. Like around the neck or the ankle. Or? Your big brother ideas don't fly in this country, my friend. You can't do that to foreigners. Only Matt citizens. <laughs> Unleashed. <laughs> Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. <laughs> I, I, what? Good morning, America. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I, hmm? It's Friday. Yeah. Sorry, we're just having a little <laughs> off-air discussion. Little side conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, welcome to it. Great to have you with us. Uh, <laughs> Fury and Energy <laughs> tweets. Rashida Tlaib can't violate her religious convictions by denouncing chance of death to America. They'd come for her if she did. Uh, that that yep. very well may be true. Mm-hmm. Stand up, Chuck, tweets. The only thing missing on the list of things that increased under Biden was the stock returns of congressional members. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check out the latest uh, Blaze original for that. Oh, yes. Really good. Yes. Uh, Frank Johnson's alter ego. I outlived my savings. Years ago, yeah, you well, and me both, welcome. my friend. Yeah. Welcome. Carol remarks, uh, how long before they proclaim that being heterosexual is a mental illness? <laughs> Would that surprise anybody? Not Some circles point. already do. Yeah. Well. Uh, Jeffy is a national treasure. Tweets, Aww. I'm a conservative in New York, and I want to thank you. Your show is an oasis for a pilgrim in an unholy <laughs> land. land. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank I you. mean, That's you're nice. welcome. Until they shut off your internet up there. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me. Mm-hmm. You know, we made a big deal right before the uh, top of the hour about this Afghan terrorist. It's on the terror watch list. Um, yeah, I thought that was a big deal. Yeah, and part they, of the sandwich Well, group. I thought so too at first, but I didn't read far enough into the story. Yeah, they released him. Okay. 
but um, he's due back in court next year. Okay, yes. in 2025, oh, okay. he's coming okay. right back so, for a court appearance. There you so, go. I wish I knew the date of that court Let appearance. Let it go. A specific date. I'd put it on the calendar for next year. Put your just see if he shows up. Yeah. Can you believe? I mean, yeah, it's, it's show up again uh, 2025. What's the guy? Oh, the courts are booked. The courts are busy. We'll yeah, they're, they're busy. I'm looking Great. at the docket here. We can get you in sometime next year. Well, look. We've got former presidents to prosecute here. Yes. Okay. We've got hmm. J6ers to prosecute too. Right. Yes. Yes. Thank you. People who have milled and, and paraded, paraded around a U.S. Capitol building. How dare they do that? So, uh, you know, <clears throat> and some of them, some of them didn't actually mill or parade in the Capitol building. Some of them stayed outside and are still being prosecuted. Yeah. Have been prosecuted. Uh, who was the guy? Was it, uh, what group was he with? There was, you know, there's a couple of these groups yeah, that were, were particularly, yeah, proud boys, uh, egregious, prosecuted proud boys. Yeah. yeah. The guy that stayed in Baltimore <laughs> wasn't even in DC. Yeah. We, right. And they but convicted he, but, him. Pat, he was thinking about it was in he? another city. Okay. So, so he was thinking about being there. Oof. Wow. He may have even texted someone. Oh no. So about being there. I, That's bad. That's bad. All right. Well, when you I mean, put it's it just into incredible context just, like that, it is incredible. All, I, I, it I, is. I, we keep saying it's unbelievable. It's incredible. It's amazing, and it happens yeah. every, day, every day, right in front of our face. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yesterday, we played a clip of Sheila Jackson Lee talking about the sun and the moon. So great! Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it just shows you the brilliance of some of our elected officials. You know, we we're too hard on them from time to time. And uh, so it was a nice reminder that, yes, there are people who are dispensing really quality information. And she was talking to a group of high school students about the sun and the moon. And here's some of what she had to say. Provide unique light and energy. (laughs) The moon. So that you have the energy of the moon at night. Okay. And sometimes you've heard the word full moon. I've heard that, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is a complete rounded (laughs) circle. Pause it for a second. Okay. Let that soak in for a minute. A full moon, if you go outside when this is happening, right, that's you'll it's see fully it's a charged. Full, fully charged, rounded mm-hmm. circle. So was this was this before the eclipse? Yes. Yes, right because this, you're about yeah. to see yes. her during yeah. the eclipse. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> okay. So here, here's more of what okay. of what you are looking at yeah. when you see a full moon. And teaching kids. Mm-hmm. A full moon is that complete rounded circle, complete rounded circle. Bend which bend is over, made up mostly of gases. Mo- made up mostly of the gases. Question, the question is why uh-huh. or how could we as humans live question? on the moon? Okay. Are the gases such that we could do that? Oh, the gas, the is, gas is such the sun that we is could a mighty do that. powerful heat. We know yeah, that. It so is. It's almost true. Almost impossible. It's almost impossible to, to live, live on the sun. The sun. You can't. The moon is more manageable. Yeah. And you will see. So you can live uh, on the gaseous moment, moon. Uh, yes. Not a moment. You'll see in a couple of years. Couple of years. That NASA is going back to the moon. Okay. Right, because the gas is such that you can stand on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if it were a solid rather than a gas. It's that kind of gas that you can stand on, like rock. <laughs> She's got this weird <laughs> block with moon stuff. She sure does. Because yeah. she messed up the moon with Mars and right. what? It, yep. So bizarre. Gosh, it is so, she is so it's almost as if dumb. she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's it's almost like that. Almost. You know it can't be that. No, it can't be that. But it's almost like that. Okay. And it's almost like you can't live on the sun either. Like right on the surface, well, it's a, I mean. Pat. It's, it's a, almost she like did that. Say you it was can. A mighty powerful mighty heat. heat. Mighty yeah, heat. she did. She did. So, okay. So, so we've seen that clip. <laughs> is it warmer than Texas, though? Is Not during the summer. Because we're used to heat. Not during the summer. Not, okay. All right. Is, okay. So, uh, uh, we have another clip of Sheila Jackson Lee from that same event. So, okay. as, you're, as you're watching this, I want you to, to decide, is what you just saw dumber than, than what you're about to see? Which is the dumber moment for Sheila Jackson Lee? Okay. All right. Here, here comes the sun. Oh, stare at it now. Now, put your glasses on. Here we go. Put your... Put your glasses on. You gotta put. Huh? Oops. Put your just... glasses on. Put them no. on. So put them. And close your yeah. mouth. She can't do it. 
She can't put put your freaking. Are you serious? Put like you just don't you, look at the, don't like, no don't yes you gotta wait till they're on. <laughs> Bro. Okay, so you put the microphone down. Now she can concentrate on putting the glasses on, right? Here we go. Okay, just okay. now she's got. It. No, well, <laughs> not exactly. Okay. Okay, you put the one. Hook. Are you two? <laughs> you put the one like she's never. Oh hell. Oh. Oh, oh, it's between, she, because of the she blows it's the because whistle. Of the hair. Why is she and, uh, it's mess, it has nothing to do with the hair. Yeah, I was struggling it has with nothing the hair. To do with yes. the hair. <laughs> she was struggling with the hair. Pause it on the, the last glasses. frame, Joe. You can There's tell. plenty of room between no, the ear and the, the hair, hair Jeffy. No, you don't Pause understand. it on the look at you that. You don't understand oh African American hair. Oh, gosh. idiot apologist. Jeff Fisher. Thank really? You. Thank Idiot you, apologist. You yes. Now yeah. that's a double, that's it's a double issue. definition. I, I understand He's the apologizing. struggle, look Sheila. At, look for at her hair. Idiots. There's nothing there that would prevent uh, her from so hooking that around. What good. So glasses are very uncomfortable and they wheel uh, different on your faces. I understand the struggle. <laughs> Okay. I can't. All right. You. Well, good. Don't. Good. I'm glad I mean, you understand it. Seriously. What, what? Seriously. Come on she's now. So dumb. You're an adult. She is butt stupid. Yes. And you that... started off in that clip asking if she was two years old. I, I know. And yeah. all of a sudden, well, now you're on her I felt, side. I felt bad for her. <laughs> Do not I feel, feel bad <laughs> for her. She is helping bring down this nation. Do not. I know. I refuse I know. to allow you to feel bad for her. No. No. A nice whistle blow at the end there, too. Like, okay, look. Yeah. Somebody's got to help me here, because I'm not going to be able to see this eclipse. <laughs> By the time I get these glasses How on, the eclipse gonna is going to be over How for like an hour. It? How much you want to bet that whistle had nothing to do with the kids or a high school or anything? It was it was her trying to summon her staff member over oh, to oh, yeah. her with the glasses. No question about that. Yeah. She's calling over a staff member, and we see how she treats her staff members. We've got. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, so that is a that is somebody a call to the Jew people. Get your anus over here. And fix this yeah. for me. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I need wow. one of those whistles, man. I like that. Who, who's good, coming to you? That's a good idea. Who's rushing to your aid? Wow. Well, when I blow the whistle, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so we're closing in on tax day. It's April fifteenth. It's already the twelfth. So the fifteenth is Monday. Yeah, but do they do they push it back a day since it's on a Monday? Or am I wrong? Oh, maybe they I don't. Do. I don't know. I, really I think don't that know. usually I think happens. Did, yeah, I think they do push it back to. The, so we have until Tuesday. Yeah, I think Monday. No, really? Yeah, Monday. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I haven't heard from my people, so I don't know what's going on with. Blow mine. a whistle. See what happens. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, Look at that. 70, oh. No, you got to have a separate whistle. A you can't just. Okay. <laughs> what happened in Massachusetts and Maine? Was it the flooding or something? Uh, I don't know. The, the, they have till the 17th. What? I, I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe it was. I'm reading an article here. It's weird. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Well, isn't that special <laughs> that the king has decided to give them a couple extra days? Yeah. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Pathead Kenneth Parker sent us an image of a U.S. taxpayer with a sign. Mm hmm. This is about property tax, yeah. though, of course. The 15th is about income tax. Boy, but we feel this in Texas, don't we? This says it all. Oh, my. Oh, don't even get me started on property <laughs> tax. Don't even get me started. Uh, in fact, when we sell our house, one of the things we want to do oh, no. is rent so that we don't pay any property taxes or homeowner's well, I got, insurance. That's, I, I mean, I'm just done. We're done that, with it. That's I'm one, done with it. That's one of the things that I have actually been doing. But mm -hmm. the issue with that now is... Mm -hmm. uh, you know the with inflation, the owners right. of the of the houses that you Getting rent, out of you. yeah, yes, uh, are passing my, that along. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm sure. But, oh my gosh, I'm like, dude, but, your house is not this. Well, then move. <laughs> oh. oh boy, you know what I mean? I mean it's, yeah. it's just a, and then they a, got you because yeah. they know you don't want to. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I nobody don't want wants to. to. Uh, anyway, here's what he says about property tax. Uh, stop legalized plunder. Isn't yep. that the truth? I built and paid for my house by age 25. Yep. You can see the guy's probably not anywhere what, near what 25 think, right what do you now. What think he is, 29? I'd say 30, 30 31-ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's Like four decades ago, 70, he was 30, 31-ish. Yeah. Still, though, at that time, that house, I mean, he says that, what, property taxes are equivalent to the original cost of my house? Yeah, probably yeah. more. Takes 50% of my Social Security to pay my property tax. That's got to be a resident That's of Texas right there. That's crazy. Well, yeah, he's got the cowboy hat. I bet it is. Yeah. I bet it is, Texas. But welcome. Yeah, yes, but there's no nice. income tax, so right. it offsets it. You're good to go. <laughs> right. 
I don't think so. No, I think the property even... tax is such that it more than makes up not for even income close, tax. Not even close to yeah. offsetting. No. no Did you hear that, not. y'all? Don't move to Texas. It sucks. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, I mean, we've already discussed that we've got that issue. Mm-hmm. During the summer, we have the sun that moves closer to the yeah. state. Just Three stay miles. away. Three miles away. The sun is three miles from the from Texas mighty plenty, in, during the summer. It creates mighty plenty of heat. Yeah, it does. Powerful <laughs> heat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. More powerful than the heat generated by the moon. Uh, that's more manageable heat. Yes. That the, well, the moon's the gas. Moon, what yeah. are we talking about? Right. We're talking about the gaseous moon. <laughs> but it's a gas such that you can live on it. You can that's walk correct. on it. And land on it. That's what's going back. An interesting kind of gas. Uh, the United States Space Force. Oh, is this no. a tweet from them? Okay. Are they mocking? Yeah. So the Navy posts a tweet. Mm-hmm. Space Force and the Marines actually mock the Navy. The Navy pulls down this tweet. Please put up the images so that we can oh, wow. see them. Um, so there you go. So the Navy post from engaging in practice gun shoots, conducting maintenance, testing fuel, what is Purity. It? Purity. Purity. And participating in sea and anchor details. The U.S. Navy is always ready to serve and protect. Hashtag readiness. <laughs> and so then, of course, you've got the uh, Space Force saying, Dear U.S. Navy, even our space grunts know the proper direction to mount a scope. Oh, so got it it's got backwards. It on backwards. So, oh boy. So my son, leave that picture up there if oh, you would, my. please. My my son, who is uh, a, a gun guy, um, I, I showed him that picture. He goes, "Well, it's not just a backward scope." Uh, he said, "The rail is not mounted properly. Uh, the foregrip is way I was too far." Say the same thing right, about right. The rail. The, 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 the and I know thing. Jeffy Absolutely. was bothered by that. Yeah. The foregrip is way too far back to be yeah, effectively the used. Yeah, the stock yeah, is way that. too high on his shoulder. I mean, his right elbow is too far off his body. He's chicken winging it. So there you go. It's like your son is listening do, to my conversation at the house when feel, I saw this. Do you feel your... safe, America? <laughs> Thanks, Ezra. <laughs> How'd your son become such a gun expert? I uh, I introduced him to him, and he took and he it loves from him? there. Oh, yeah. he yeah. is, good for him. His knowledge is all right. Yeah, deeper than mine. I will say that. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. If you're one of those homeowners who's tried to buy or sell a home right now, and I am, uh, <laughs> you've probably uh, discovered by now that you've got a major undertaking on your hands. Almost nothing about getting a house ready to sell, to put it on the market. Almost nothing about it is easy. It's really, and really you're cool. aware. And I am aware. Yes. <laughs> and my realtor gave us great advice. She's like, because uh, we were going to do what it took, you know, to get the maximum amount. And we had grander plans. And she's like, you need to scale that back and just sell it this way and it'll be fine. It'll be great. So it, you need to find a realtor who's going to help you understand what should be done, what you don't have to do. I mean, you don't want to spend a lot more money than you need to because you won't get it out right. on the other side. So go to Real Estate Agents I Trust. They know what they're doing. They've got great track records. They've got great marketing plans. And they'll help you get your house sold and take some of that stress away from you. Real Estate Agents I Trust. The name says it all. Go to realestateagentsitrust.com. Pat Gray Unleashed. Welcome, 888 Pat Unleashed on Twitter and uh, Instagram and, you know, mm-hmm. YouTube.com slash Pat Gray. Click on it and do some stuff and we'll send you things. I don't know. <laughs> we'll send you things. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, we're welcome. We'll do. Yeah. Live it. Love it. You're just a woman or whatever. Or whatever. Or okay. whatever. So what you can know. I do to get you into um, maybe giving us a bingo square today? Could you maybe do that for us? You mind? Oh, my gosh. I, it's a, I'm not right. your trained armadillo, okay? My trained armadillo. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a well-known axiom. Everyone right? says a, it. Yeah, everybody. No, I'm not your, what it. am I, your trained armadillo? I'm a performance armadillo. Is that what I am? I'm not sure I've heard that one. <laughs> 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 okay. What are you used to? I'm not your trained monkey. Is that what you're used to? I am used to that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, I am used to that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the Honorable, I'm a lickin' butter, tweets, the Chinese are yodeling pickles to spy on us. Spread the word. Oh, they're sending? They're oh, mailing wow. out? They're mailing oh, out? Uh, using. using. The Chinese using. are using. Wait a minute. There's a, Yodeling pickles to spy on us. Is that what that right there is? Oh, a, yeah. Where is it? Oh, oh there yeah, it is. It's still in the studio. Okay. I'm not. 
All right. Don't even think I'm not going to push the button. Thing. And Sons of Fun Thunder 43. You mean the moon isn't a big pizza pie? No, or or oh, block of cheese. Okay. It's neither uh, of those. Right. It's gas. The uh, song is now in our head successfully. Thank you. When the moon hits your Fries, eyes like, like a, a big, big pizza, pizza pie. pie. It's a more. I love that song. I love classic. It. But... Uh, Barry Jackson. I lost a hundred IQ points listening to Sheila Jackson Lee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we lost a lot more with yeah. her struggle to put those stupid glasses on. <laughs> Wait. No whoa. 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 You defended her. Yeah. You gotta stay. I, I felt sorry You're for gonna her. die on that hill, bro. Uh, oh, fine, <laughs> fine. You know what? Fine, I will. But I mean, I felt sorry for her. I was like, oh my gosh. All right, honey, baby, come here. <laughs> Let me help you. Pumpkin. No, honey, come on. Come baby. here. No, don't don't grab your whistle. I'll help you. Come <laughs> here. <laughs> All right, Jeffy's got a fat five. All right, us. let's rock and roll. Uh, <clears throat> they are now coming for Lunchables. Uh, the advocacy group Consumer Reports is urging the federal government to remove Lunchables from the national free and Why? reduced price school lunch pro. Oh, Why? We'll get to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, because they found high levels of sodium in Lunchables. Oh, oh. stop it. They're Detec- what, 10? These are 10 year olds. They Detected can handle lead sodium and Come cadmium on. in tests. Oh, lead and cadmium, cadmium too? Cadmium, yeah, you can't have any of that. All right. And it's plutonium uh, in them too. <laughs> no, no, there's <laughs> no right. plutonium. No. Now, Consumer Reports <laughs> tested them using the arsenic, California. They had a little bit of arsenic. They didn't have or that either. Cyanide. No, they didn't. No. <laughs> Look at that. Now, of course, Kraft and Heinz. Uh, Kraft and Heinz was you know backing their product 100. percent And just a reminder um, uh, that um, none of the amounts exceeded any legal limit. Uh, oh, I'm glad for you can lead have in food. a little cadmium in your food. Even it's Consumer fine. Reports fine. reported, well, none of the kits exceeded any legal or regulatory <laughs> limit. But yeah. hey, right, good, good. good. Hey, they probably have a contract with bug manufacturers or something. So get rid of the get rid mm-hmm. of the Lunchables. Mm. Uh, as long as we're concerned about health, uh, are we? Well, are we concerned about health? Absolutely. <laughs> health officials doesn't look are... like it. you look around this room and you'd think nobody here Fix is concerned your health. about their health. <laughs> That reminds me. <laughs> no, I'm con- we're concerned. <laughs> we are concerned. Yeah, we're not doing anything about no, it. No, we're not doing but... anything about it, but we're concerned. Okay. Yeah. We're con- you know what? We're concerned for you. <laughs> yes, that's it. We're concerned it. for you. Uh, they are coordinating a multi-state investigation with the CDC after fake Botox injections hospitalized mm. at least four people mm. in Tennessee and Illinois. And at least... Like the real Botox. Two people. Isn't bad enough. We're admitted you with gotta get botox. Botox like illness, it's the cooking uh, oil, receiving injections in non-medical settings. Oh, gross! Oh wow! Now botulism is a rare. Well, that's what Botox is made of, right? Uh, right. They, uh, but botulism will attack your nervous system, and symptoms can yeah, include can blurry, bad. double vision, uh, droopy eyelids, difficulty breathing, fatigue, slurred speech, or hoarse voice. Fill my eyes. <laughs> no, not with that, that double vision. Horse. Not kind of that. Not that kind of. That's, that's no. There's no disguise. That's Camilla for that double vision. <laughs> no, there is. <laughs> Okay. And uh, obviously, if it's, by the way, they're number two right now in the uh, uh, Rock and Roll yeah. Hall of Fame yeah, fan vote. I checked again this morning and yeah. voted again this morning. And, uh, so and you can vote daily. They're number two to, uh, we're talking foreigner here if you're not aware. Um, they're number two right after the Dave Matthews Band. At three, only like a thousand behind, Peter Frampton. Mm. Oh, wow. That yeah. can't stand. It can't stand. No. At number four, yeah. Ozzy Osbourne. Peter's pretty strong. And smoke. you won't believe it. Ozzy. Cher is Cher number is five. Lenny Kravitz. Cher's a legend. We have. To, what I think Kravitz about? is six. After Cher. Yeah, Cher's a Stop legend. it. She's not a rock and roll person. She's a legend. Come on. Well, Cher's in. Uh, no. She probably will get there before Foreigner, though. Cher's in. Oh, I mean, we have to have Foreigner. So we can bring foreigner this back around must. to Botox now. See what we did? We went from yes. Botox. Speaking of Botox. To the, Cher, the Cher, Cher has done more yes. than Botox. That's yes. <laughs> for sure. Cher is way past Botox. Now that, the she's Botox, mostly plastic. Yes, yeah, right, absolutely. Right, she right, is right. definitely, I don't know how many <laughs> cuts to call on face, but she's About definitely 90. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so uh, just uh, you know, make sure you're getting your Botox treatments from uh, uh, medical settings in medical settings, not non-medical settings. Thank you. Okay. Like Seven Eleven, it's not a good place for a Botox injection. I know injection. they just busted yeah, another 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 mom. I never get my Botox injections at Seven Eleven. You go to mother Botox and, R Us and her daughter in mm-hmm. Houston for Botox giving out R-Us. butt yeah, injections. Yes. You know, butt bad, injections. Bad butt injections. Yeah, the butt implants. What do you put in there? Well, they were putting in what they weren't supposed to, man. Wow. Holy cow. 
Weird. So many okay. punchlines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just so if you're going for a butt mm-hmm. lift injection, yeah. Yeah. make uh-huh. sure you do it in a medical setting. Okay. Sure, yeah. it's very yeah. important. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, and I know, I know you're happy with all the tats that you have, Pat. But what are you the, up to now? But for very. those who aren't, uh, I'm carrying the one, the three hundred and twenty-six. 300. Okay, well. Is that wait. why you wear long no, sleeves I, every day? I'm sorry. I carried the three and the two. Oh. And the, and none. I uh, okay. Still none. I still see. the zero. So what's okay, going so, on with Tats? Well, PetSmart is offering a way to get covered <laughs> up uh, with wait. their Treats Rewards Loyalty Program. Uh, they found in a new survey that 49% of pet parents have or know someone who has a tattoo they regret. Hmm. Oh. So the majority of those with regrets would not regret a tattoo hmm. of their pet. So PetSmart is saying, turn your regrets into pets. And they want to give parents a re- so you can get a tat of your pet to cover up an old tat that you don't like. So they take your existing tattoo. That's correct. And, and turn it into, into, it into your that. pet. Yeah. Okay. That's and they're sending so you to L.A. too, which is really nice. Apparently there's no tattoo artist here in Dallas. And, uh, huh. So we're just going to send you the. Okay. Send you the. L.A. did it. Enjoy the sense turn your regrets. Boy, that's a tats. weird sponsorship right there. I know. Mm-hmm. I know, but they're doing it. Okay, so and we we had a got the guy uh we're almost done, so I'll just stick, skip ahead to uh we uh, do know now that the National Football League mm. uh will kick off September sixth of this year, which is a Friday. Uh, with the Green Bay Packers mm. taking on the Philadelphia Eagles mm-hmm. in Brazil. Good game. Brazil. Uh, the matchup in Sao Paulo. There might be a we'll revolution the, by then. We'll mark the first time that the game is played uh, on Friday night. Wow. Uh, and uh, it will occur in Corinthians Arena. I'm sure you're very familiar oh, with that. Of course, yeah. I mean, Brazilian soccer team Corinthians plays there. Oh. And it was in the Olympics. Oh, and did I mention that it's exclusively on Peacock? Uh, uh, so, but it, now, whoa. If you, listen, if you live in Green Bay or Philadelphia, you can still get it on this free This is channel. Pat Gray, Unleashed. Uh, so this is great. I'm going to want to get to New York really, really super soon. I because... miss New York. Yo, I, I miss yo, being in New I York. I actually do, too. I, I do, too. I never thought I would say that. But, uh, but yeah, it was fun being there. It was. For three years. Uh, Hillary Clinton has produced a Broadway musical. About time. You yeah. know that's going to be great. We knew that was coming, though. Uh, I bet you're going to be... Book it a ticket right now. Already have. Uh, Heck yeah. yeah. And, and don't After. forget. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, we got a little teaser clip here. Oh, okay. Because so. the, uh, you, I, they were going to play a special performance of this Suffs <laughs> musical. They did. Uh, at the Biden fundraiser. I think it's later this month. I don't know where this clip is from, but we have a clip from the, okay. the show if you want to see Awesome. It. I mean, this is because Lin-Manuel Miranda was supposed to be there. Is this the, from the fundraiser? Do they actually huh. have I don't it? know where it's from, but we do have a Had clip. Had to have more press than, than just this, right? Here it is. Hmm. We the women of the country. We demand to be heard. Well, yeah, it was the suffering. We demand to be seen. Equality. Equality. Nothing in between. We demand to be heard. We demand to be heard. We demand to be known. We demand to be known. Wow, is this good? What do you mean? How riveting is this? It's on women's suffrage, obviously. Yeah, right? Yeah. Suffs. Yeah. Suffs. <laughs> we demand. Wow. And Hillary wrote that. Like of course, brilliant, totally. Like That's really so the way you're, good. the way you're, she's co-producing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm picking up mm-hmm. like you're not meaning mm-hmm. what you're saying when you say what. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what would lead you down that mistaken path. No, just because. Wow. Well, first of all, like huh? you don't like musicals. That must be what it is. That's what it is. What? <laughs> <laughs> First of or all, or you didn't until that clip. Now, first of all, is I don't like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Second, she wasn't in the clip. Well down the list is I don't like musicals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the other night on Laura Ingram's show, hmm. uh, Senator Rand Paul was on the show as a guest, and uh, the subject of not Hillary Clinton but Dr. Anthony Fauci came up. Mm. Oh, good guy. What should the consequences be for Anthony Fauci? 
jail. <laughs> you know, I've sent two referrals oh, to the Department of Justice. That's for starters. I think he lied to Congress, yes. which is a felony. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, several mm -hmm. folks from the Trump administration were accused of lying to Congress and carted off to jail with FBI yes, agents all over their property, host, you know, yanking them out of their house early in the morning. But yep. we have two tiers of justice here. It depends on whether yep. you were a supporter right. of Donald Trump or you're a supporter of big government, you know, the centralized government. But Anthony Fauci did lie to Congress. Mm -hmm. We know that from his own words, not because I say lies, but his private email say he was lying. Virtually everything he said in private contradicted what he was saying in public. And he huh. was fairly honest in, in private. In private, mm -hmm. he said masks don't work. In public, he wore three masks. In, in private, he admitted that there was such a thing as natural immunity gained from getting the infection. In public, he was like, oh, you know, we're not going to measure that. It's unpredictable. Mm. Wow. Jail That's... is only the first step. <sighs> yep. But will that ever happen? Of course no. not. It I mean, will not happen. Nothing. There will be... No repercussions. There will be no consequences for Anthony Fauci and his lies, and and not just over COVID nineteen either. I mean, it goes clear back Way to the back. AIDS epidemic. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, yeah, he's he's the worst. We've got a lot of <laughs> really bad things uh, in the pipeline right now. We sure do. Uh, and one of them is this reauthorization of Section seven hundred two in the mm. Patriot Act, and. It, you know, the warrantless searches of Americans. If you stumble on to a, uh, a terrorist and you start monitoring him and he calls somebody in the United States of America, then you can now track them and everything they do and everybody they call and so on and so on and so on. And so that's got to stop. And you don't need a warrant on these American citizens in order to do that. If you started with the terrorist or whatever, nah, it's fair game. So... right. They've never fixed that. Uh, they've never changed that. It continues to this day. And the other problem with the Patriot Act is it's rarely used on terrorists. How often is does it even come up? It's often used on drug dealers. Sure. So it's got very little to do with terrorism. And I, I don't know how much they use it on terrorists. Maybe we don't know of a lot of the action that they take against terrorists but we do know that Americans are being scooped up in this big, wide net they're casting. Uh, and it's just too general. It just it shouldn't be allowed to take place. Yeah, I mean, if you've ever constitutionally you know, had a text with someone who had a text mm -hmm. or email right. that someone who had an email. Yeah. And you're implicated now and they can follow you and the monitor line. you. Yeah. So here's uh, Speaker Mike Johnson on Section 702. Okay. When I was a member of the judiciary, I saw all the abuses of the FBI, the terrible abuses over and over and over, the hundreds of thousands of abuses. Right. And then when I became Speaker, I went to the SCIF and got the confidential briefing from sort of the other perspective on that to understand oh, the good. necessity of Section 702 of FISA and how important it is for national security. Important, yeah. And it gave it's me important. a different perspective. So I encourage all the members yeah. to go to the classified briefing and okay. hear all that and see okay. if they can evaluate uh, the right. situation for themselves. And and I think yeah. some opinions have changed both ways, but that's part of the process. You've got to be fully informed. Uh, yeah. Have you been it, it, during the class? In other words, <laughs> look, we just need to give up some freedom yeah, for our security. It. All right, so, that's all. That's Edward Snowden tweeted that video out, and uh, his uh, tweet uh, to accompany that was, <laughs> it's so true, this is a textbook case of congressional capture. With a single briefing, the intelligence agencies routinely transform their most strident yep. critics into the tamest of cheerleaders. He didn't write this, uh, <clears throat> but I wonder, what do they have on Mike Johnson? Well, even if they don't have anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you, I wonder, I was thinking that the briefing was there with, you know, six guys with baseball bats. Mm -hmm. Is that where you yeah. get the briefing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and look, if you don't do this mm -hmm. and there's an attack. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we're we're going to make sure that the the nation knows that it's because you didn't reauthorize 702. Here's a quote from uh, FBI Director Christopher Ray. "Quote: While it's imperative that we ensure this critical authority of 702 does not lapse, we must also not undercut the effectiveness of this essential tool with a warrant requirement of some si yeah, or some I, similar yeah, restriction. You don't want to do that. You don't want to hard. Don't on restrict." Them. Us here to that makes it harder to monitor people. It does. I don't want that. I don't want that. Let me do whatever I want Gosh, with these American it. citizens. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It's uh... it's supposed to be hard to monitor people, to follow people, to surveil 
Americans especially. It's supposed to be hard. You should have to present some reason behind it. There's got to be... Uh, sorry, that's I know. the old-fashioned Constitution sure talk is. coming out. It sure it. is. Probable cause came to mind, and that's just so old-fashioned, and we already set fire to that a long time Thank ago. So. Uh, I, mean, I was trying to figure out what ancient thing <laughs> yeah, you were sorry. referring to there for a sorry. second. Sorry. Yeah, it was something that... Yeah. I mean, it began with, you know, clear back in like 12, 13 or something with something called the Magna Carta. Mm. And then, uh, you know, that was kind of used as a uh, starting point for another really old fashioned, antique, Mm -hmm. out of date piece of paper called the U.S. Constitution. Here we go. Silly. Yeah, right. I don't want to go there. Here we go. I don't even want to mention it. (laughs) I hesitated to. Uh, but all I, I know is the word "woman" <laughs> isn't in the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I mean. Neither is the word "freedom." Isn't that? Wasn't that the so, line? Yeah. Yeah, neither yeah. is the word "freedom." Except. I mean, in the but documentary think, "Field of Dreams," yeah, uh, mm-hmm. that it's quoted that it's supposed to be hard. The hard is what makes it great. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Can we quote you on that? You can. The well, hard is what makes is it great. what makes it great. That's. I mean, that's. Was quoted in the documentary. Jeff Fisher. Uh, Field of Everybody. Dreams. Mm-hmm. Was it uh, Kevin Costner that said it? Oh, Tom Hanks. Oh, okay. Oh, in what? In oh, what did I say? What, what did I say? You Field, said of, Field dreams. of Dreams. Oh, yeah. No. It's going to say. T- no, Tom not Hanks Field of Dreams. Was in that? Yeah, I missed no, no, his, no, no, uh, no. I missed his appearance uh, the, at Field of Dreams. The stupid. Girl baseball. Yeah, League of their own. own. Yeah. League of their own. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Stupid really girl baseball. <laughs> I love the movie. <laughs> WNBA before time. That is fine. I love the movie. I did love yeah. the movie. But... And the girls' league, right? Yes. You love that yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, and you wish it still existed I, I do, today, actually. if I'm not mistaken. I, I do. Uh, Lauren Boebert <laughs> mm-hmm. on uh, Section oh, yeah, 702. She gave us an update last night. Okay. okay. <clears throat> the Swamp. Conservatives got a major win this week when we killed the rule to extend FISA, which was used to spy on President Trump and attack the liberties of Americans. <laughs> Nothing happens in D.C. without force. Mm-hmm. So now we are working with Speaker Johnson on what will hopefully be a much better deal yeah, that will include deal. a vote to require the feds to get a warrant before no, tapping our phones no, and performing no. illegal searches yeah, on U.S. That's citizens. That's not going to happen. And but. this will be a two-year reauthorization rather than a five-year. This is something Americans of all backgrounds should agree on okay. and we are going wow. to keep fighting this week and every week okay. to protect your freedoms your liberties i will not back down on this thanks so much for your support so we appreciate God that bless. but uh, my understanding is the vote that's going to happen today mm-hmm. is, is it already a foregone conclusion well yeah so she she alluded there that it's not it's going to be a two-year reauthorization yes which i mean still yeah. not good enough that's still not good Mm-mm. no why would you reauthorize a bad bill Stop it. Just for a couple of years. At least, you know, reform it with the uh, warrant m- being mandatory. They would have to go you in and, and get a warrant. read it and change some things in yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It, it'd, it'd make it harder. It would make it okay, harder. So I, wow. Yeah, this is so you confusing. don't want that. No, this don't. is such a, a rapidly no, changing don't. story all week. Yeah. But, okay, so the rule still includes a vote. So they will still have a vote on, on the amendment that would Today, add a right? warrant. Uh, requirement. Oh, okay. So maybe we... So and they have sure. until, what, the 19th, until it goes supposed to go away? Yeah, that's right. so, yeah I think somewhere in there. Uh, What's What time is the vote today? Do people still have time to call their rep? Find out who your rep is if you don't already know. Hopefully you do. And call them and tell them that it's not okay to yeah. be surveilling Americans without a warrant. Yeah. And the Capitol switchboard <sighs> is 202-224-3121. That number again, 202-224-3121. All right. Yeah, well, there you I'm go. sure it'll if help. they've seen Big the time. private briefing, then so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay, we have a, a winner there. Look at there. Oh, that's Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> uh, let's go to Stephen in Texas. <laughs> hey, Stephen. Bingo! Nice! nice. You did it right. All right. Fantastic. Thank that's you. That's how it's done. Thank you. Right there. All right, where did your uh, bingo occur, Stephen? <laughs> that was... Uh, the second column. Yeah. Just today, I'm not your trained monkey and down from there. Right. Okay. You want me to read them off? Yes. Yeah, that's the way it works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you started off Jeffy, right. Jeffy, my man, yep. Okay. It is ma'am. <laughs> okay. Pat, I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> right. And Keith mentions neighbor Greg. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Nicely done. Awesome. Go. All right. So, uh, so we got the 
uh, $30 worth of merch from PatGrayShop.com and the, the dozen cookies from uh, Kexi.com. Oh. Hello. Okay. Thanks, and what Steven. about the reparations for LNA? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't Last know. Last name alphabetizing. I'm at the end of the alphabet. You guys are in the middle, and you got people at the beginning of the alphabet. Right. And they ask last name like Beck. That uh-huh. have been just at the front all the time, and I, I think there should be reparations. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Uh, we're going to take up that grievance. We will. Thanks, yeah, listen, we'll, we'll look into it. We'll get back to you. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that grievance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure I understand it, but yeah, yeah, so, I will come well, to understand it. Well, that's why we need it. to address it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's because you benefit from it. I do. Gray. Right. There you go. Oh, yeah. G. Oh. So there you have it. Oh, look at you. You're you're the elitist here. You got an F. Fisher. Uh, so you're near the front of the line. I'm very mm-hmm. well aware that I that you. get Fs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, all right. So we are uh, we are going to get into the Iranian situation because we've been warned for three weeks now yes, that we have. A, an attack is coming in two days. Mm-hmm. So we'll get into that here in a second. First, let me tell you about balance of nature. Um, you need to make sure that you've got the fruits and vegetables in your diet. Really important for maintaining a healthy lifestyle but it can also be hard to do especially if you're busy or if you like me hate vegetables i there's like i like corn i like uh well i like corn and that about (laughs) that about runs the gamut unless you can call a potato a vegetable and i guess you can technically it sort of is but other than that you know how am i gonna get kale in my diet i've given you my kale recipe it's you know you you coat the pan with uh, cooking oil, and then you put the kale in the pan. And then you walk over to the garbage and you slide the <laughs> kale into the garbage can. It's a it's a Pretty foolproof basic, uh, rep- recipe yeah. that works every single time. <laughs> but when you take balance of nature, you will get those uh, recommended servings of vegetables in your life, and you're just going to be healthier as a result. The vegetables, the fruits, it's just so great. Uh, and you can do it on the go. Their proprietary blend of 31 fruits and vegetables come in easy to swallow capsules and will give your body so, so much of the nourishment that it really needs. Imagine trying to eat 31 different kinds of produce in a single day. Uh, but that's what you're getting with Balance of Nature fruits and veggies. When you go to balanceofnature.com, you'll get 35% off plus $10 off any additional sets with your first order. As a preferred customer, by using my discount code PAT, that's uh, limited five limited five sets, but you'll save a ton uh, while getting the fruits and vegetables you need in your diet. So go to balanceofnature.com, use the promo code PAT for thirty five percent off. Balanceofnature.com. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. You know, uh, Matthew Scomo on Twitter just makes a great point. Does it not concern us that uh, there's a carve-out for uh, representatives uh, in FISA? Absolutely. I'm so glad that Matthew brought that up. Yeah. I mean, that is congressman. shameful. Yeah, congressmen, they, senators, they, yeah. They did this because uh, there was a congressman, I think, in the Intelligence Committee that was actually surveilled by intelligence. So they got that carve-out. Well, you can't do this to us. Yeah. But go ahead and do it to every other American uh, I, I'm, I'm on sorry. this continent. Th- I mean, it's shameful we even have to have this discussion, but there should be a constitutional amendment that says any law that applies to American citizens applies to Congress and senators. Period. No question. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, that, that's worse absolutely. than a sunset on a bill. I know. All right, so we've got this headline that all of Isra- Iran's options for an attack on Israel uh, are laid out in this article, which I kind of doubt. Um, I, I, there might be some... Other options here that they don't cover, but they say this this is all. This is all comprehensive all. here. Uh, Israel is braced for a major escalation in the conflict with Iran. After U.S. intelligence assessed uh, that Tehran is ordering a strike on military and government targets inside the country in the coming two days. Now, they've been saying this for, what, a week and a half? Yeah. Uh, now, I read an article yesterday that said they've delayed it because they were a little worried about the U.S. or Israeli or both responses that we could hit them back again inside their country, and they don't want that. Interesting. Yeah, uh, I, read, interesting. I read one that said uh, that they, they weren't ready. 
Okay. Uh, you know, so I'm not sure. Uh, again, mm. I know that maybe it's in this all encompassing mm-hmm. article, mm-hmm. but uh, <laughs> it would make more sense that they perhaps were, you know, thinking twice about actually doing it. It would. Did you? Yeah. But I saw where um, Iran told the White House that if the U.S. defends Israel against its forthcoming retaliation for the uh, Damascus strike, uh, it will consider the U.S. a viable target as well. This yeah, is... that's what they, that's the hubris they, uh-huh. yeah. they normally talk with but uh that's why i was surprised at the article i read yesterday that they were hesitant because you don't usually get that no you don't no no, you do not and that was reported by the intercept what i just read uh two days ago and you don't usually get that from uh uh, another country after they had spoken you know to joe biden yeah oh joe scared (laughs) us yeah oh okay right he's not scaring anyone right he doesn't scare anybody uh, and U.S. Isra- and Israeli officials uh, fear that most hostages oh, held by Hamas yeah. are, are already, already dead. Yeah. <sighs> I wonder if that does that include the Americans. I, I assume. I don't know. There's still eight Americans oh, being held. Do we still care about them? Yeah, I will. Oh, okay, some of us do. I mean, uh, at the top, not so much apparently, because they never even mention them. Nope. They don't even mention, which is what's pissing the families uh, off so much and right now. Deservedly so. Yeah. Yep. If you had a loved one who's being held hostage oh by Hamas, gosh. and you saw that and heard that this administration was never talking about them, you'd be a little, yeah, a little off put by that. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's really incredible. And so Hamas is essentially uh, admitted. Yeah, most of them are dead now. So we don't well, have any what, in that age group that uh, you want. Yeah, back, they, so right. They're, you they're wanted, all gone. Right. You wanted those the young ones and the old yeah, ones. Sorry, yeah, we don't have dead. any of those. They're dead. Well, what about the middle aged ones? Yeah, they're dead too. <laughs> they, that's essentially what we're getting yes, back from is. them. And then, and yet, we're still trying to twist Israel's arm to give them a six to eight week truce here. I mean, this is what you yeah, stand for down. humanitarian aid. Right. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So what oh, a weak okay. America looks like. It is. And that's why one of the many, yeah. many, many reasons we need a change in leadership. Because as Trump has pointed out so many times, how often did this happen under him? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. None. Zero times. Zero times is how many that happened. So it's kind of compelling, isn't it? Yes, it is. Kind of compelling. Also, in a landmark climate ruling, the European court has faulted Switzerland. (laughs) Their top human rights court said that the Swiss government had violated its citizens' human rights by not doing enough to stop climate change. (laughs) A landmark ruling uh, that experts said could bolster activists hoping to use human rights law to hold governments to account. It could. This is incredible. In the case, which was brought by a group called uh, Klima Seniornen, or yeah, lo- Senior them. Women for Climate Protection. Love them. Yeah, I love them. Senior love Women them. for Climate Protection. I met most of their protests <laughs> uh, in uh, Switzerland. Oh, is that why you came I, yeah. to work the other day wearing a Senior Women yeah. for... And the Lederhosen, because I was in yeah. Switzerland, so... Okay. I, that's why I had the leader. You're wearing the shirt too. and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I get it. Um, <laughs> the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg uh, said that Switzerland had failed to meet its target in reducing carbon emissions. Oh, Those God. bastards. <laughs> and right? they must act to address that shortcoming. Well, what country hasn't? We're the only ones that have met the, the requirement, I think, of Paris, right? Because we're stupid. So that just means Switzerland hasn't paid enough money to them? Right. I'm sure. Right. To offset mm-hmm. it? Yeah. The women age 64 and up, said their health was at risk during heat waves related to global warming. Here's an idea. Get an air conditioner. Or how about this? A fan. Have that blowing during hot times in Switzerland. I know you guys don't have central air. Okay. Go to Walmart. I'm sure there is one somewhere in the Alps. Euromart? Uh, Euromart (laughs) somewhere. Buy yourself a fan. Plug it in and turn it on I during mean, the summer. Ikea month. sells fans, right? That's you know, I'm, I'm surprised to hear, considering how you were dressed the other day. Surprised to hear you take this angle. <laughs> you know, yeah, with the leader hose <laughs> and, and the shirt and the supportive the senior shirt women with for environmental that's, justice. That's shirt. Weird. It's weird. It's so weird. They're in their sixties. What was it? Was they were over sixty? The plus sixty group. Sixty four. Yeah, yeah. sixty four and up. So they've already passed their. Uh, change hot flashes. Uh huh. Yeah. There you go. See. So. <laughs> 
They have it. Maybe way that's to, why way, to, way to think hot. that through. Because you were gonna, you were gonna go down the very sexist road of oh, it's sexist. just a bunch of hot flashes from old women. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Going through menopause. I don't that's appreciate what, you think. First of all, uh, Your Honor, it is evidence in the case. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that is. <laughs> oh man, what so, a mess. You know. Yeah, the, but but the cool thing is, is that mm. there's not gonna be like it even says in the. Uh, the next line there is, uh, there's nothing going to come of this. Yeah, the well, decision no. is legally binding, but experts say states are ultimately responsible for client, uh, for compliance. Isn't, it, are, it is are legally ultimately. binding? Hold on, hold on. Is not legally binding. Yeah, okay, decision, that's what I it's, This says, although oh, it the is? decision is legally oh, binding. Oh, I misread that. I thought, oh, good, then yeah, get I out of my so face. Too. I oh, thought this court cool. had no power. Oh, oh, I will no. say this, Have though. It's a good them? thing the earth works the way it Carbon does. Carbon emissions because... also trap heat. Right. Today's report shows mm-hmm. oceans have absorbed 90% of that heat, yeah. raising ocean temperatures by half a degree. Uh-oh. Had yep. all that heat gone into the atmosphere, all of it. air temperatures right. could have risen by more than 200 degrees. It would be 261 <laughs> degrees right now in Dallas, Texas. Dead. And we all be dead. So, This is Pat Gray, Unleashed.